Hi right, guys, I'm Tommy So, and with me is the on? coolest person I know, Eddie Lodge. And we're going motocross right I in. Thought you don't like, you don't normally like filming in cars. Roll the intro. <laughs> Here he is. Where have you dragged me to on this Sunday? Ed's a bit upset already because I've drove two hours. He lied to me in the car. I'm not going dis to disclose the location. Secret. It's a little bit of a secret location. I've been invited up here today. Been trying to come up here for a little bit, so we're here anyway. I don't really know where I am. So I just got a pin, drove to it, sandy track because it's rained a lot, so. I reckon it'd be good vlog material though. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm loose on the spanners again. Are we going to watch you put this uh, rear wheel in there? Yeah, no problem. Come on then, let's have a go. No problem, Edward. <laughs> to change a tyre on a Honda, you need 32 mil. 10, 12, 11 to do it. If, you, if you've not got a 10, 13, sometimes you want to round the bolts off. Shall I move this brand new helmet so you don't smash it? I'm going to prove... Who's painted this? Tom for the image design. Nice, isn't it? I went for a bit of yellow on it. Just to spice it up a bit. Granny ground works. Yeah, I'm going to show that I'm not as silly as I look at changing, uh, doing the bike. Well, I think you're already silly. Why? Because you're missing a spacer. You worry about filming it, I'll worry about this. Putting this on, which will give some details because it's a paddle tyre. For in the sand, the paddle tyres, it's got a little bit of a scoop. So it helps through the sand. Just a little bit of information for those that may not be an avid motocross fan. I've come across my channel by chance and thought, I wonder what that knob's doing there with that tyre. You're a feral bloke, aren't you? I feel like I'm being judged when I do my next time. We may run into a problem. The chain's behind the uh, wheel, we won't tell you. Oh! How you got on with that? Good, real good. Really? I uh, don't know yet. I think you might have to take the wheel back out and put the chain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show that I'm not a serious I look. So close yet so far, that was. This is painful to watch. I'll tell you what. This is dry as anything. Yeah, I've not got any chain, dude. Why don't you put a bit of spit on it? Put feet on the peg. Yeah, you broke my ankle, yeah. You finished the pictures with this naff jacket? Not a naff jacket, mate. This is a prop with proper boat across heads. See, now it's worth the drive, isn't it? Yeah, if we sell a few of these, it'll be worth the drive. Pat Major has the training day on and, um, He's kind enough to let me ride up here in between his sessions, so I'm just waiting for the kids to finish and then I'm going to do a little bit myself. But obviously it's been raining a lot this weekend. i not vlogged for a while either. Had a bit of a mishap at the British, wasn't allowed to vlog. Didn't want Ed getting locked up, so... I didn't want to go prosecuted for no. prison. Last thing we need is to, uh, Ed trying to bail him out of prison and that. So we didn't vlog the British Championship. But now we're back on, the, we're back on it. Little day riding and hopefully we can vlog the other ones. Next race coming up in a couple of weeks, so... I sort of want to vlog them. Go and do a bit then. I've got to make sure I'm allowed out. Go on, go and do a bit. I don't tools. think that's the right tool. For this job? Yeah, you got a T-bar. I've got a T-bar in there. You went to Wobbs the other week, why have you not got a tie one? No, I, I have got a T-bar, but I just thought I could be more precise with this. I'm just dropping my corks through a tie. Right, I'll put that on for you. <laughs> I was going to put that back on. No, what I'm doing here is dropping my forks through a touch. Has Rusty Van Wheelnut taught you how to do that? I actually watched that old video. 
Is that on my channel, that one, or not? No, it's on mine. Check it. What is it, E Dub Media on YouTube? Mm. If you check E Dub Media on YouTube, we've got some real old, old videos of me riding in America and that. Same as the podcast channel. And it, yeah, it's the same as Two Pro One Slow, but the one in um in America. No, there's videos of me in America, and there's um. Vulcan's ride it was. Vulcan's ride, it's good. I w actually watched it the other day because I sent it to Joel Rowlands because he's obviously in it and he beat me that day. In sandy conditions, you're dropping through, so you make the front end a little bit higher, so it goes across the sand a little bit. But I um. I normally, I'm personally a fan of it a little bit lower, so I, I get the turning, but it's so deep out there, I'm just going to try it. Because we also have Ling coming up, British Championship, which is sandy, so... What about the testing. coating, then? You've done a nice coating on them. Yeah, k take a coat them for me. They're only standard coated, but it makes me look a bit more factory. So I'm about that life these days. But they've actually put a new setting in this for today. Well, so... k take are on um, top four. Need your suspension done? Go to k -Tech. Double up to this, double off of that, over the hole, onto that one, then double down, then double back up. give you that. That was, that was nice. Thank you. Very good. You got any other stunts you can do? Looks like I've gone out on his bike for him. You're right. <laughs> that, that's so shit. <laughs> Ed's dug a hole in my wheel. sit out of here you don't have to stand up straight away but then as you come around that corner it's quite hard to see you've got on the inside you've got the grass there that's really tall so you can't sort of see past the sun you can't see oh, yeah. no one likes 
to know it all, do they? I don't know it all. I said I'd make a stay. You know it all, you do. Level expert. Got it. Another crash. Go on, mate. Good vlog content. <laughs> it's tricky, this. Do little whip snappers. Tell us why you're doing a bit of a last minute training school. Because I pestered Pat that I could come and ride, and he says, Can't really come and ride because I'm doing a training school. And I said, Oh, please let me, please let me. I'll help you on a training school. <laughs> so now I'm out. <laughs> Helped anyone or not? Yeah, I think so. It's just nice. He's a good trainer himself, so it's just reassuring the kids. And it's nice. I like coaching. I've had a great day at the track, and now Ed's been moaning for the last 40 minutes that he's thirsty and he needs he's to drink. Past every Starbucks going. It's the first one. Tell us about your race at Column, seeing as we uh, weren't allowed to vlog it. Why weren't you allowed to vlog it? No, the race at the British Championship, that was obviously Ling, like, uh, no, where was we? Cullum last weekend. And uh, it was good. I went third and a second. I was quite happy with that. Sort of never know where you're going to sort of um, end up in the race. But I felt like I rode well, enjoyed the track. The event was actually well run, even though no one, no one could see it, but it was well run. Steady away day, really. I, got th I was fastest in qualifying, but then they put Adam Sterry first, fastest, just because the timing broke but they reckon he looked smooth and smooth is fast so they put him up top looking forward to round two at Ning that's in two weekends time and uh, are we vlogging or not not quite sure yet are we then have to speak to Gareth yeah how about something up for you today what do you want master can I, can I have a peach iced tea and a cortado a peach iced tea please and a cortado we've done 40 quid in it today now no I've done 12 though. and now what 30 quid you take that and put it in the bin or not? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good pick. Good pick. Oh, look at that. Is that everything, yeah? Cheers, mate. Talk to us about your day out with me. Fucking <laughs> day out? You lied to me about how far the track was away and said it was an hour and it was actually two. We've had a mega day. No, I've sat in this seat that's like a bolt upright You've van. made a right mess in there and all. Yeah, I'm so glad to be home. So much negativity. You have fucking... You started off wrong, Thomas. You lied to me. About what? You said it's an hour away and it was two. Two hours thirty, actually. You wouldn't have come otherwise. Exactly. That's why I'm negative. Have you had a, are you glad you come or not, really? Um, Good content are we going to create or not? I don't know. It was all right. It's all for your benefit, though, again, isn't it? No, I'm happy with the day. I think we've had a great day, Edward. I really appreciate you coming. Best I think part about I really, things. really. Yeah, that was nice. Peach iced tea, nice. Really, really appreciate you coming. Um, See you this, know. look. This is what you should do when you borrow my van: is tidy up your shit. Do you want to wash my bike for me now or not? <laughs> Give it a little wash. I'm gonna ride again tomorrow. I probably won't vlog that one, but I'm trying to do a bit. All in all, happy day. Hopefully, you enjoyed the vlog.